personally went from entrepreneur to investor and then sort of circled back to create gust to fill a gap that you saw in early investing. Tell us a little bit about that journey and the lessons learned. Well, I am by nature an entrepreneur. I, as you said, I started my first company when I was a, a young child. My first company was a multimedia organization which was doing marketing communication materials for my brother who was a uh, magician. He did um, uh, kids' parties. Uh, and so we did his headshots and playbills and business cards and posters. Um, the only problem was after a couple of years he realized that the sum total of his income equaled the sum total of my income. And so there was a slight problem there, so I lost my, my client. Um, but uh, ultimately, uh, I started at other companies when I was in high school and college and graduate school and getting out of, of graduate school. Um, so uh, I'm actually a third generation entrepreneur, so it sort of comes by it naturally. I think there is, it is partly genetic, partly environmental, partly role models and, and mentors. So my natural operating uh, role is as an entrepreneur. And after uh, uh, creating my first business and after uh, graduate school, um, and then another business morphed into a larger business and hit the very beginnings of the dot com boom and got very, very big, and then it crashed and burned, and then we started again, and it got even bigger, and crashed and burned again. So after the, the, the second really big business really crashed and burned, um, my wife said, okay, <clears throat> that's it, you're, you're grounded, uh, no more starting companies. So I was, I was removed from the field as an, as an entrepreneur, uh, and uh, so all I could do was you know, sit home and twiddle my thumbs and, and uh, you know, help me get my kids in college and, and uh, spend some time in my other passion project, which is actually the uh, antique art of letterpress printing, so I have a whole other life in, in, in that kind of world. I've written books and, and teach and, and stuff on that. Uh, and then as I was sort of uh, you know, off the field, um, somebody who I had met during the, the dot-com boom, a guy named Andrew Weinrich, came to me uh, with an idea for business. Now, Andrew um, is the person who invented social networking. Most people don't think that somebody actually in, it's like you invented water. He actually invented and patented social networking uh, and uh, with a company called Six Degrees that I uh, saw during the dot-com boom and I just walked into their office one day and said I got to meet the CEO this is a great idea in the this is the mid 90s uh, and so we got to be became friends he ultimately sold the company at the height of the dot-com boom for 130 million dollars or something um, unfortunately it was all in stock when the dot-com crash uh, happened uh, and the company ultimately got shut down um, he, he was back on the street too as another entrepreneur wow. Um, ultimately, the, the patents that they had that they had, had been issued on that, that for inventing social networking, became the foundational patents for LinkedIn, uh, among other things. Okay. But uh, Andrew was an entrepreneur, was back in the street, and he had another idea for a business. And he came to me and said, "I got this idea for a business in the wireless space. Um, I'd love to have you work with me on it." Uh, but I was still on <clears throat> beached and was not allowed to be a co-founder. <laughs> so I said, "Well, okay, all I can do is help and support you and provide some some seed financing." Uh, and so that's how I became a, an official angel investor, and I became his first angel and uh, and then uh, from there I joined the local angel investing group here in New York um, which was the uh, angel investor program from the New York New Media Association sort of the trade association of the dot-com world uh, and that's where I met people like Esther Dyson and Alan Patrickoff and uh, Josh Koppelman and Howard Morgan and folks like that uh, and so I did a number of uh, investments there um, and then since I still couldn't start a company I could start a not-for-profit organization so when the trade association ultimately went bankrupt during the dot-com crash uh, in the aftermath of therefrom, uh, I spun out the angel group and created something called New York Angels. Uh, and, um, and then that's how we founded one of the largest, and most active angel groups in the country. And I got more serious about it, taught myself, learned from mentors and other people who had been uh, investors, uh, you know, ahead of me. Uh, and uh, that's how I became a professional angel investor. So here I was now doing a lot of angel investments and running an angel organization. Um, and I began to get involved with Singularity University, which was uh, founded by Ray Kurzweil and Peter Diamandis on the West Coast uh, in Silicon Valley. It's a postgraduate program in sort of exponential technological development in the future of, of society. And I actually am an associate founder of that and founded their finance and entrepreneurship program. So here I was looking and thinking about the future and looking at the angel world as an angel investor, having been an entrepreneur in the in in the past who had raised all this, all this money, um, organizing investors in an investment group. So you put all this together, it's like the perfect storm uh, to realize that um, the future of the world, I believe, would be determined by these new startups, and these new startups would be funded as the cost of starting a company was dropping exponentially by angel investors, not by institutional investors and, and large venture funds and the like. 
So I got that on my hands and knees and, and, and pleaded and finally got released from, from non-entrepreneur prison and was allowed by my spouse to start another company. So I started the company that eventually became Gust uh, while continuing at the same time to run an angel group and uh, uh, invest as an active angel investor and do Singularity U and everything else. So, I'm, so it's all sort of additive in life. So, so these days I'm the founder and CEO of Gust. Um, the founder and now Chairman Emeritus of uh, New York Angels, um, and uh, I do a lot of teaching and lecturing and stuff on the side.